cheese and salad. What kind of dinner is that for a working man? Well, you're not working now, Ted. You've got an arrest. Well, I'm not stopping here, not if I don't get decent grub. Well, the doctor said, with your heart like it is. I know what the bloody doctor said! I'd better get back on the job as soon as possible. I'll leave you to your dinner then. You tell that sister on your way out, I want proper tea! No animal fats, Mr. Brooks, that's what the dietitian said. Oi. You tell her from me. Meat. That's what I have for my dinner. Roast meat. So, uh, no, I hate hospitals. No, thank you. I'll be back to work next week. But I got a bit of time to myself for once, too. Oh. You go, Bren. No, I couldn't. Not with you like this. I don't want you fussing me all the time. Bloody hell. Bren works with this teacher, Mrs. Stevens. Taking her up to uh, Stratford upon Avon. What are you going to see, Bren? Shakespeare. <laughs> but I'm not going. Not with you like this. Don't fuss me! Specialist says I'm not to get excited. What with her fussing me all the time. You were admitted to hospital on Sunday afternoon. At... When was it, Lewis? 157. When exactly were you taken ill? You tell him, Brent. Well, um... It... it, it, it... It was five past three in the morning when he woke with this pain in his chest. That's right. Right here it was. I thought it was indigestion, you know? He often gets indigestion after he's been down the club. So I um, got up and fetched him the Rennies and made him a cup of tea. Oh, I forgot the cake. Not for me, thanks. What about you, Sergeant? Yeah, please. Well, um... You seemed a bit better after that, didn't you, Ted? A bit. But he woke again at six. Uh, so I made him another cup, but that didn't seem to help. And he didn't want no breakfast. Uh, I I'll just get the cake. You used to have a good job at Woolsey College, Mr. Brooks. If you call cleaning up after a bunch of spoiled brats a good job, yes. In your time there, were you aware of any drugs being used by the students on your staircase? Nothing to do with me if there was. Where did they get them, do you suppose? Sold them to one another, I reckon. Dr. McClough was always on at me about it. Have I seen this? Have I seen that? I told him the only needles I ever saw were sewing needles. <laughs> Wrong side of Oxford for the museum, Mr. Brooks. Yes, well, I cycle. Or I used to. Well, never rains, but it pours. I'm sure it brought on his attack. Yeah, it may have done. Only had his bike stolen, didn't he? Saturday night, right outside the club. He had to walk home, didn't you, Ted? I'm sure that's what brought on his attack. Have you reported the theft? Give us a chance. I've been busy having a heart attack. Anyway, a stolen bike in Oxford. All right, thanks very much. You've been... This is, 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 this is,